I recently came across a channel that really caught my attention for just how well it seemed to be doing posting list videos. Now, this channel is generating hundreds of thousands of dollars every year posting videos like this to YouTube. You know, the top 10 best places to visit on the East Coast, the top 10 tallest buildings in the world, top 10 fast cars. Now, I'm sure you came across dozens of videos like this on YouTube and honestly, so did I. And I have to say, I kind of love those videos. I can spend hours watching them. And up until this point, it never really occurred to me that creating videos like this and uploading them to YouTube could actually be a great side hustle or even a business. That is until I came across this specific channel and then I did some research to find dozens of other channels just like this one. Now, videos like this are really easy to create and have the potential to make you thousands of dollars every month if you do it right. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to create videos like this from start to finish. And we're going to cover everything from coming up with video ideas to the scripting to finding the footage for your video and editing and of course recording the voiceover. And the best part is that we're going to do everything completely for free without having to spend a single dollar. Now, I'm sure by now you've probably already heard the term YouTube automation. Now, what this means basically is that you develop a system that allows you to automate the creation of videos like this, including everything from scripting to editing and even the voiceover. Now, in most cases, this also includes not having to show your face at all, which means that most automated YouTube channels are usually also faceless YouTube channels. Now, some of these systems use AI as part of the automation process, but others don't, and instead hire a team of people to help put together the video. The idea is that you produce videos that are essentially digital assets that have the potential to generate passive income for you without having to commit tons of hours to scripting, filming, and editing those videos. Now, list videos like the ones I'm about to show you are actually great candidates for automation and apparently are quite profitable as well. So let's go over some examples so you can see how well these channels are doing. Now, this is one of my favorite channels on the niche, and as you can see, they produce lists that are usually the top 10, let's say whatever. <laughs> now, if you go into Social Blade and search this channel to estimate just how much revenue it's bringing in every month, we can see that it's generating an estimated $27,000 a month or $323,000 per year. Now, trust me when I tell you guys that the averages that Social Blade usually estimates are way too conservative, which means that this channel is most likely making way more than this every year. Now, let's check out one more example to see if we can spot similar results. Now, this channel, which I'm also a huge fan of, also creates list videos, as you can see, and has twice as many subscribers as the example we just saw. And according to Social Blade, it is generating around $63,000 a month or an amazing $765,000 every year. Now, again, this estimates tend to be way lower than the real number, but it definitely paints a picture of just how profitable this YouTube niche can be. So again, these are the numbers, guys, and it's completely up to you to decide whether this is, you know, clickbait or a real potential business that you could tap into. Now, in my opinion, this could be a very serious side hustle that has the potential to earn you thousands of dollars every month. So let's go over the first step of the process so you can see how easy this is. Now, the first step in the process is to come up with video ideas. Now, there are many ways to do this. You can definitely hire a service like VidIQ to provide you with keywords and trending topics. But of course, that comes with a cost. And as I told you guys, the idea is to show you how you can do this completely for free. So I'm going to give you guys a method that I sometimes use myself to help me find topics audiences are clearly interested in. So what I do is I simply research what my competition is doing to see what kind of content is getting traction. For that, I would first look up the top five to 10 channels on my niche. So if you're planning on creating list videos, I would look up what the top channels creating list videos are. Now, once you found them, you wanna go into their videos and look for the last 10 videos they published. Now, you can definitely filter for most popular, but this is going to show you results that sometimes are five years old and the topics of those videos might have been popular back then, but not so much today. So you wanna focus on videos that are doing great today. Now, once you research the last 10 videos, you can draw an estimate of what their average views are. Now, as you can see on this channel in particular, their videos are getting an average view count of, let's say, around 100,000 views, which is a lot. Now, once you got that average, you want to focus on the videos that are hitting well above the waistline. That is, the videos and topics that are well above average in terms of view count. So this one right here, as you can see, has over 300,000 views. And this other one has over 700,000 views. So these videos are actually doing way better than most. Now, once you found those videos, look at the title, the thumbnail, and the content of the video and try to create your own version of that video on a similar topic, but obviously trying to add value on top of it to elevate that content even more. Okay, so now that we got the topic of the video, it's time to move on to the second part of the process, which is coming up with the script for the video. Now, I can tell you guys from experience that drafting a script for a 10 to 12 minute video like this one can take you anywhere between 8 to 12 hours of work. So it's a very time consuming task, especially when there's a lot of research involved. Now, in the case of list videos like this one, research should typically take you a considerable amount of time if you do it the old fashioned way. But now, thanks to AI, we can actually come up with the list and the 
the entire script in a matter of minutes, which is incredible. So we're just going to go to ChatGPT and ask it to come up with a list of, let's say, the top 10 most cinematic cities in the US. Now, as you can see, in a matter of seconds, the AI is going to provide you with a list of those 10 most cinematic cities. Now, what you want to do is, of course, go over the list to make sure that you actually agree with the results. And I do, I have to say. So now we want to transform this list into a full 10 minute script. Now, we're going to ask the AI to elaborate further on each one of these places by creating an article about each point. Now, notice that I don't ask it to create a script for the video because if I do, it's going to tell me exactly what to say. And instead, all I want is a one minute talking point for each place on the list. And that way you got yourself a 10 minute video. So ask the AI for a paragraph on each one of those places and copy the answer to your script. And that's it. Now that we got the script, all we need to do is ask it to create an intro and an outro for the video, which it will do quite well. So that's it. And we're all set for the script now. Okay, so now that we got a full script, it's time to move on to the third step of the process, which is getting the footage to go with that script. Now, there are many ways to do this. There are sites out there that will get you tons of footage and some will even create the videos for you. But most of these sites actually require a paid subscription. Now, since the idea of this video is to show you guys how you can get started with creating videos for free, I'm going to give you a list of places where you can get really good stock footage completely for free. So feel free to pause the video here and write this down. Now, in my opinion, some of the best places to get the video footage for free are Pexels and Raw Pixel. Those are the ones I personally use the most, but most likely you'll be using all the ones on the list because whatever footage you can find on one of these sites, you'll be able to find on the others. So just keep them all in mind for this part of the process. Now, for this example, we're going to be using Pexels. Now, all you need to do is go to the search bar and choose video, then type the footage you're looking for. Now, as you can see, most of this footage is actually really good. Now, you want to be careful and make sure that the footage actually belongs to what you're looking for because, you know, the system is not perfect and it can sometimes offer you footage that doesn't necessarily correspond to what you're looking for. So once you've located the footage that you want, just download it and place it on the right folder. So what I do is I basically try to make the whole process as organized as possible. So I create a folder within my computer named list videos. And within this folder, I create another folder named footage and another one named audio. In the footage folder, I will create one separate folder for each point on the list. This is going to be really helpful when dropping that footage into the editing software. So make sure to be organized from the beginning because that is going to save you a lot of time down the road. So just download the footage for each point on the list and be sure to place it on the corresponding folder. Now, when it comes to the voiceover, there are basically two options. You can either hire a voice actor on Fiverr to narrate the script you created using AI, or you can use a multitude of voiceover tools or text-to-speech software, some of which also uses AI to narrate the script, but most of them are paid and the ones who are free are really not that good quality. So for that reason, if you want to do a voiceover and are willing to pay some money for it, then Fiverr, in my opinion, is the way to go because you'll get a professional human narrator that pretty much guarantees that not only the voice is going to sound great, but also the audio quality of the recording is going to be awesome too. Now, if you want to do it for free, my advice would be to use your own voice because this way you pretty much guarantee that the audio is not going to sound robotic and you also don't have to risk your video being demonetized for using a text-to-speech software. Now, you definitely don't need a super fancy microphone to do this. In fact, you can just use your cell phone, which is exactly what I'm going to do for this example. So basically, just open your voice memo app on your phone and start recording the script. Now, for this, I would definitely suggest that you find a place with good acoustics. Now, as a rule of thumb, your bedroom is usually the best place to do this because the bed and the clothes in your room are actually great at preventing the sound of your voice from bouncing all over the place. So you get much better sound recording in a place like that than, let's say, your kitchen. So once you get the recording, you're pretty much set. You got the two main components of any video, the footage and the audio. So now we're going to go into the final step of the process, which is editing the video. Now, in my opinion, the best free software out there to do this kind of job is DaVinci Resolve or iMovie in case you're on a Mac. And you can always switch to the paid version to have even more editing options. In the case of iMovie, you can switch to Final Cut Pro, which is what I'm going to be using. But the overall process of editing a video like this is pretty much the same regardless of the editing software you choose to use. Now, all you need to do is drop your footage into your media library. Now, this is where the folders that I talked about earlier are going to come in handy. Now, you want to drop all the folders into your media library. And as you'll see, the software is going to create a keyword for each one of those folders, which means that dragging the clips to the timeline is going to be super straightforward. And this way, we pretty much guarantee that we are not going to mix the clips or waste time trying to find the right clips. Now, you just drag the content of each folder into the timeline one by one, starting with the first one. Now, you want to make sure that your footage is synchronized with your audio. So what I do is I cut the audio where each point finishes, and then I make sure to match the length of the clips to that segment of audio. Then add some transitions and titles and make sure to sync everything up. Now, there's one final step I would definitely recommend you guys to try out, and that is to add some music to the video. Although it is definitely not mandatory, music is a great asset 
it to any video because it sets the tone, it sets the vibe of the video, and it can really complement your footage. Now, but I found what I think is probably one of the best free music platforms for creators, which is Creator Mix. And all you need to do is credit the website on your video description, and as you can see, you can use this music even to monetize your content. Okay, so that's it, you're pretty much done. Let's see the results. So this is my narrator voice, and in this video I'm going to show you why New York City is one of the most cinematic cities in the US. It has really tall towers and bridges and the hot dog stands and well, you get the point. Now full disclosure, this actually took me about an hour to put together from start to finish, but I believe that spending an hour a day on a side hustle that has the potential to change your life completely is actually worth it. So I really hope this was useful for you guys, so I'll be creating more videos like this, explaining the process in more detail, so I really hope to see you guys there. Till next week. Thanks for watching, you're the GOAT.